How is it going, everybody? Let me give you the rundown on my crazy, crazy morning. So I slept out in the National Forest tonight and drove around <clears throat> at sunrise looking for grizzly bears because the grizzly bears have just started coming out of hibernation. I had zero luck photographing grizzly bears. So I came to this parking lot uh, to take a nap because I was absolutely exhausted. And so let me give you a little background first. I've been looking for foxes all winter with pretty much no luck. And it's been frustrating me because I love getting pictures of foxes in the snow. That red against the white is just gorgeous. And I live for that. And I haven't been able to photograph one this winter. So here I am taking a nap in this parking lot. I slept for probably two hours. Uh, and then I, I literally woke up like this, all exhausted, rubbed my eyes, looked up, and there was a red fox 10 feet from my car, just sitting there in the snow. I was like, I was like, is this some kind of weird dream? <laughs> it's really, really strange. So I just grab my camera, start taking pictures of it. And just right down the, the street here, there was a carcass and it was another red fox. It was a dead red fox. I don't know if the, this, this alive fox had killed that other fox or if it was just a roadkill fox. I don't know, but it was feasting on this other fox. So. I watched it feast on this other fox and it, what, what, what it did was so fascinating. It ripped all its body parts apart and were, was stashing each body part in a different spot of the forest. So it would take, it took one leg off. It ran to one part of the forest, dug, uh, buried it. It took its spine out. It ran probably a quarter mile to bury the spine. It, it ripped the tail off. So I got a picture of it with another fox's tail. And then finally it ripped the head off. And it walked right by me with this other fox's face and head just hanging out of its mouth. It was really gory, but golly, it's just such an intense photo. I, I really, really dig it. Just such a crazy morning, y'all. Such a crazy morning. I spent a couple hours with it. My car won't start now because I, I had my lights on the whole time. I didn't realize it, so I'm going to need a jump here. But uh, wow, that was nuts. So there's the rundown on what happened. Uh, I will show you guys. I got a bunch of GoPro footage as well as uh, some video from my camera and photos. So here are those now. Enjoy. Oh, the, the tail. He's got the tail. Wow. <coughs> Crazy.
It's a little bit much for you there, buddy. definitely one of the craziest things I've ever seen in nature hands down it was uh, <laughs> I, I'm speechless it was crazy um, never seen anything like it before so now I'm gonna head a little bit farther north since it's snowing and beautiful out and see if I can find a grizzly bear with my luck today who knows what can happen It'd be epic to find a grizzly bear in the snow if I don't see it obviously if I don't see another thing today uh, it was still one of my best days of wildlife photography with that fox so but we'll see if we can find a bear too. Let's go do it. Well, that was a perfect way to end the day folks beautiful moose chilling under that really cool looking tree that tree was very very artistic looking it was a very uh, abstract shot I think I'm gonna really like it a lot uh, so here's that shot right now
you know what? I think that's gonna do it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. What a day. I mean, spent a couple hours with that red fox, the cannibal fox, I should say. Uh, man, that was just something else seeing that. That was just crazy. I think that tree shot's gonna turn out really nice with the moss and the snow. And then uh, just now having that moose stand under that really artistic tree. I really, really like that a lot. So man alive, smash that like button for me, would you folks? Dear Lord. And uh, make sure to subscribe, share this with your friends, be like, yo, check out this cannibal fox. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great one. Tune in on the next episode. Cheers, folks. See ya.